I feel like we need to talk about this situation really quick. Look how bad my tan is. But of course we start every all-nighter vlog off with making a drink, so let's do it. Okay, Ruby's still awake. That's a good sign, that's a good sign. Where do I even put this? I don't know. Hello, I do a vlog in this kitchen, so I don't really know what to do. Okay, so here's the deal. I have to like be quiet because like I don't want to wake up my roommates. Oh my god, my tan looks so bad. Okay, looks better. My hair's down still. So it is 1247. 1247. I need to update my wallpaper. 1248 now. Midnight 30 a.m. Um I just got home from babysitting um i was making my sh money y'all and um here's the deal i have a flight at 10 30 tomorrow morning however because i'm insane i was planning on getting up around 5 30 6 range and i need to take a shower in dire need because I tan today and it looks so bad per usual because I just tanned like I have to shower and like you know like soap it all up to like make sure it looks good um but yeah I yeah so here's the deal I am not that tired like at all I feel pretty good I feel like I can make it to 536 even though it's not that early, but, like, at the same time, like, I've grown an anxiety of oversleeping, especially when it comes to flights. I actually, I've made myself sick, like, over my fear of, like, not waking up to my alarm. Like, I remember one time, like, I had to get up, like, at, like, 5 for work and for a 7 a.m. shift at Urban Outfitters. Um, and I did not sleep because I was too anxious. And then when I got there, I threw up and had to be sent home. <laughs> um, but anyways, I have grown this like anxiety about like sleeping through my alarm. Even though I've only done it like a handful of times in my life. Like I could probably literally count on like my hand the amount of times i've overslept in my life like i'm not even kidding so last time i had a flight last time last month i went to belize um and i literally pulled an all-nighter but like granted like i had to leave for the airport at three like i had to leave like at 3 30 to get there for like a 6 a.m flight so like a 6 7 a.m flight like so and I'm flying out of Newark too, so like that's a trek in itself. I just decided I'm, I'm Ubering. I hate public transportation, especially in the morning or late at night. Like, actually, no, I love it, but like not to the airport. And like, I really just don't want to go to Penn Station when it's like crazy out. So, because my flight is like, it's at 10 30 and it's not that early. I still have to shower. Like, this is disgusting. Like, I'm gonna have to straighten my hair. Um, or I'd like to straighten my hair before I leave. I don't know. Like, I just like having straight hair. But I'm, like, debating if I want to pull an all-nighter and, like, just sleep on the plane. Or if I want to sleep. But, like, I feel too awake to pull an all-nighter. Maybe I could convince my roommate, who's still up, to come to the deli and get a Celsius with me. Because I know that I've had two Celsius today and a free um, Starbucks from Starbucks. Um, because a manager yelled at his employee in front of me. And he was like, oh, your drink is for free now. Because I just, like, I'm about to fire someone. And I was like, well, like, I don't even know. Like, it didn't process in my head that he was giving me the drink for free. So I was like, okay, cool. And then he was like, no, you're good. 
He's like, you didn't realize that? And I was like, what? I don't know. Perks being blonde, I guess. Just kidding. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I should just go and get a caffeinated beverage now. And like maybe a snack because I'm like kind of hungry. Or like just shower and go to bed. Like, I've overslept before after babysitting, and I don't want to, like, jinx it. Especially, like, for a flight. Like, I don't know. Like, I just get so anxious. <sighs> Fuck, guys. I don't know what I should do. Let's see what Ruby's up to. Hi, hey, are you about to go to bed? No. Okay. Well, like, kind of. Right, okay. So. I don't know if I should... I have to get up at, like... 5.36 to my flight and I still have to shower off my tan so I'm debating if I should just stay up uh, or if I should try to go to sleep at five, how long is it how long will it take to shower off a tan I don't know is it just like scrubbing like I need to like, so like I'm in a very intense game of Uno right now of Uno real yeah that and I also need to like wash my hair but I'm also like anxious about oversleeping just set a few alarms. Okay. Well, I mean, it's up to you. You could just sleep on the flight. How long is the flight to Indiana? It's like three hours. Oh. I think I'm just going to shower and go to bed. Good morning. Alright, let's get ready to go to the airport. overestimated what time I had to get there and like what time I had to leave because I decided to uber and I'm actually gonna get there earlier than I thought which is exciting so I mean not I don't know I'm gonna leave later than I initially thought I needed to because it only takes like a 30 minute drive but I feel like I should also it's fine honestly it's Sunday there won't be rush hour I forgot about rush hour, but whatever. Oh wait. Okay, I just got to the airport, um, dropped off my bag to the thing. Um, kind of bothered though, because I realized I got here way too early, but that's okay. And um, also, I bought my mom a cupcake because I bought her a cupcake last year. Um, just like a little, a little ham back cupcake from her favorite cupcake place in New York. And I forgot it. Literally forgot it in my fridge. So now this cupcake is just gonna sit there. So mom, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. Anyway, let's go through security now. I don't think they'd appreciate me vlogging. Just went through security. I kind of ate it up, not gonna lie. Um, and um, the dogs were there and they were killing it. Shout out to the dogs, the working dogs out there. You're all good boys and girls and theys. Um, yeah, you guys just ate. Um, so now I have, I have three hours to kill. Listen, I was raised by a f oh, and there's my gate, so like I have so much time. So I think I'm gonna walk around. Maybe I'll get like a little, maybe I'll see if there's like a cute little recce. Like, guys, this is embarrassing. Like, I would literally, like, I was raised by a family that literally would like wake up at 3 a.m. to go to Disney World. Like, we're like, I'm insane. Like, People like me are like the reason why airport sit-down restaurants say stay winning. I cannot wait to just chug a scrumptious bagel caffeinated beverage. Also, when I was in line like for security, there was this fucking guy who like literally like cut the line and when like the TSA girl was like, hey, like don't do that, like you're being a dick, he like fucking touched her and I'm like I was like, dude, don't fucking touch her. Like, literally out loud, he like, didn't hear me. So, if you're that guy, this is a fat fuck you to that guy. Oh, the office. Where am I? Why are they playing these, like, dramatic 
ass songs. Oh my god, this is like, this is literally like, oh, wait, there's bagels. There's bagels, oh my god. I've started collecting magazines on my coffee table. So far I have two. One of them being the Billie Eilish British Vogue cover um, from 2021. Like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And the other one is literally with Sofia Coppola. Like, you know where my priorities are lying. I'm confused. Do I have to, like... I'm actually really confused about this. Why is it so hot? Here's the thing though, like, I always hate flying out of Newark, like, it's not really my vibe, like, I've never enjoyed it, but, like, this Terminal, Terminal C is killing it. Like, they're literally killing it. I think I normally go to Terminal B. Terminal B, step it up. You're not doing it like Terminal C. Like, look at this whole ass market. Like, that, you can't even see it's on focus, but, like, it's, it's a whole market. What do they have? They have, oh, they have lock spread. Oh my god, if they do, I'm literally gonna go crazy. They have log spread here. It's a good day. All right, bagel back has been acquired. Coffee, we're waiting on her. Yeah. They didn't have lock spread or poppy bagel, so I got my old order. Which was everything. I have a freaking booger. Here we go. <laughs> I got an everything bagel with vegetable cream cheese because I'm healthy and we keep it fresh. And um, I got my caramel latte coming and I'm so excited because I love I love just slurping down caramel latte. I can tell at this point I was losing it. And like I wasn't even running on that little sleep. I don't really know what my deal was. I really hope those are the, t the planes that have TVs in them because like, I wanna watch FNAF. Okay, just got to my gate. We're gonna hang out here until it's time to board probably. I might walk around later, but I don't know. I'm gonna munch and I'm gonna munch now. There's actually a piano like in the middle of the like thing. Like I saw a piano. I wanted to play it and like like just like play a little something something like I thought it'd be like a little cute like oh like a little my tears ricochet moment but then like this like girl was like eating it up and I was like I'm gonna embarrass myself maybe I'll feel maybe if I'm feeling spicy I'll like play but we're gonna feast for a little bit I'm gonna put on my headphones and just blast like all my little emo music it's just like a little little emo misunderstood teen Okay, so I didn't film anymore this day. My apologies. Never filmed an outro either. So in advance, I hope you enjoyed this video. But I did film. Like, I was going to film a YouTube video with my friends, but my camera died and I, like, didn't bring my charger. So here's a little clip from that. Just warning you, we were all, like, really unwell. And I don't know why. I think it was, like, 3 a.m. at this point when we filmed it. So, like, if we're acting weird, like just know that like we're all exhausted and like delirious at this point all right are we ready mm -hmm. hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't know me my name is abigail johnson abigail gracie i might change it i might not i don't know i haven't decided and i'm so excited to be here with my two besties from high school and middle school and elementary school for this one. This one was only high school. Mm -hmm. so yes. Maggie and Daniel, you guys have seen them in vlogs, but now we're going to do an interview with both of them. So let's get started. Uh, yeah. <laughs> both of you, this is a question for both of you. What was your first ever impression of me? <laughs> Whoever wants to start can go. Maggie can go. <laughs> okay, so I met Abigail in elementary school, and we did go to the same elementary school, but we went in the same district. We went to the same dance studio. So my first impression of her was that she brought in a magazine that she was featured in. I didn't bring it in, it was just there. Well, what I knew in my <laughs> elementary school mind was this girl brought a magazine to show everybody how famous she was. So I remember just thinking, that's cool, but then I was very confused. And then I kind of thought she was like too famous for me. <laughs> 
to be her friend. So that was my first impression of Abigail. Daniel? My first impression of Abigail, um, well, so, like she said, I only had four years with this bitch. Um, uh, well, more like three, even. Yeah. But, so, I would say, like, she was very, very passionate. <laughs> <laughs> what does that she mean? She was very, she was very, um, she liked what she liked. And she liked what she, and she didn't like what she didn't like. Hmm. Amen. And God. so it was just, um, you know, and Abigail knows this. I don't think I liked you very much in the beginning. Oh, <laughs> no. Like, I feel like all my best friendships are people who hated me in the beginning. But, you know. I don't know if I hated you. I just think I was like. People were just like, oh. Like, I never I was hated confused. you. I was perplexed. I was perplexed. Yeah. Like, that's, that's a, that's a big, like, that's the main thing. I just didn't get it. But when I got it, I got it. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's the thing with me. Like, you have to get it to get it. Okay. Um... Maggie. Okay. You've mentioned before that High School Musical was one of your favorite movies in elementary school. Yes. Do you think you could pull Zac Efron? Why or why not? <laughs> Do I think I could pull Zac Efron? Yeah. Well, I guess I would say no. Really? Oh no. That's sad I, to me. I, I'm sorry. I mean, he's, he's kind of famous. And, and what about it? What about Joshua Bassett? Do you think you could pull Joshua Bassett? Like, the Delulu would be his guess. Okay. I mean, he's, like, close to my age. I love him. Yeah. Um, yeah. Joshua Bassett, I if you're watching this, pick her. Thank you. Pick her. Thank you. And if you're not into her, then I'm here, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, get her first. Get her. Get her. She's, she's wife. She's a Christian woman. She's beautiful. <laughs> And she's like the nicest person ever. Okay, Daniel, here's your question. Mm -hmm. Daniel, you are a gay man. Truth. Truth. Do oh, have you? True or false? True or false? Uh, no, I mean, do whatever you'd like. <laughs> okay. Okay, Daniel, you are a gay man. Yeah. Why isn't Troy Sivan your top listened to artist on Spotify? I do not condone Rush products. So...